black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, another easy peasy veggie dish today. We're going to do some roast cauliflower with a nice tahini sauce. Make a little crusty gremolata for it on top. Easy peasy, delicious, keeping it low carb, low cal, and it's a delicious, fulfilling meal. We got all the ingredients here. Let's go ahead and toss her together. So the plan goes as such. We're gonna just use half a cauliflower right now. I'm just gonna break it down into some chunks. I wanna have not too big of chunks, but not too small either, just some nice pieces. It's rocking a half today because we don't need a whole cauliflower. I don't think I'll be able to smash out a whole cauliflower to, to the dome. And I also wanna make this on like a nice, just a nice plate. Have it seem like a, like a composed dish, but might have to bring in a knife for these guys. All right, now that we got them to our reasonable like bite sizes, just gonna go in with some oil, toss that around, get a coat going on that. And then just so we can get a little bit of more texture on it, we're just gonna come in with one sprinkle of cornstarch, not a ton. I'm not trying to go crazy here. Then we just toss them in a bit of cornstarch. And then these are going air fryer. I'm gonna put them on high 400 for probably like 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, but I'll check on it and see. All right, so now we gotta make the tahini sauce. So you get your tahini like sesame paste. That's what essentially tahini is, is a sesame seed kind of paste. All right, so we got that. We're gonna go in with a heavy dose of lemon. You can use a lot of lemon juice to brighten this up because like I said, the tahini is quite bitter, so you definitely want like a good squeeze of lemon to balance that out, just a bit of honey as well. And then we're also gonna come in with a pinch of salt to start. And then we come in with a little bit of warm water as well. Go ahead and whip that thing up. This is kind of what we're looking for, maybe a bit thinner. I'm looking for sort of like close to a puree. Not super loose, but also not super uh, tight either. Definitely want it to have some give to it. Not be too stiff. That should be good right there. Kind of like pancake batter. All right, flame on, medium low. A little oil in the pan. A couple cloves, fresh minced garlic going in. Toast up some of this panko. A little bit of our green onion. Okay, so I've let this crumb come to a cool room temp now, and I got some grated Parmesan cheese I wanna intermingle into this. This will basically salt it for the most part. Coming in hot, cauliflower is exactly where it needs to be. Nice and golden, crispy, fried, a little bit soft, a little bit crunchy. It's gonna let it come down a little bit in temp. Time to plate. First we go in with our Tahini sauce, just gonna do like a little base foundation sauce layer so that we have sauce underneath, but also so that it just, the cauliflower itself will just set up nice. We're doing the old adhe adhesive trick. We'll just pile in, get a little height on it. Smelling great. And from height, we high drizzle some more sauce. Just around the tops here. Should be good. We got gremolata. A couple chilies. Hit it with a dash of the fresh green onion. Tiny bit more lemon. And then a high drizzle of a little bit of honey. And that's my little roast tahini cauliflower. Spicy, hot, crunchy, all the things. Let's give it a try. All right, yo, what up? This is me trying to get more creative, hone the inner chef with these healthier, making, you know, one vegetable the star of the show, more health conscious meals. 
because that's what we're kind of trying to do around here. But I'm trying to get, you know, make it interesting. Vegetables, but interesting. So, a cauliflower dish. I'm excited to try. I think it's going to be bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Um, there's just no way this can be bad. It's just got everything that's good in it. So, let's, uh, let's just get into it. Try to get everything in one go. All the crunchy bits, the hot part. Wow. I weirdly thought to myself, if I had some pom pomegranate seeds, I feel like it would, would go good in here. Sounds strange, I know, but I think the color would look good and just those little sweet pops with everything else that's going on here. The salty, the crunchy. That nuttiness, obviously, from the uh, tahini. If you are a veg person out there, make this. The cauliflower did take 15 minutes, just to confirm. Mm, oh, perfect. Amazing. crispy bits too. A lot of really good textures going on here. Mm -hmm. As you may tell, I'm starving. I was excited to get to this. Very hungry. It's too, it's definitely too, y'all know me. I wanted a little more sauce and some more crumblies. Cause that's where it's at. So yeah, I tell you. Give this a shot for sure. Perfectly filling. One person meal. Or you could rock it for the fam. Make a big tray of it. Would be a great side dish. Killer. If I toned it down in portion, I would easily be a starter, restaurant starter. I think.
What do you think? Would you have it as a starter? I definitely would. Though maybe a bit heavy, I don't know. Possibly a bit heavy, but you could also have another share plate. A couple friends. Scoot Beach. But yo. Pat myself on the back for that one. Definitely two guns. If you're a veg, make it. Killer. So good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. <laughs> I say true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.